What's up? It's Christmas Stone Fox Media, and I hope everyone's having a blessed day. Now, I told people we're always going to be doing more gameplay inside videos, so I'm going to do kind of a mixed thing. Some videos I'm going to be in it, some just going to be gameplay. Now, let me tell you guys what's going on in gaming news right now, and I had to start off with this automatically mind-boggling news. It looks like the Nintendo Switch may actually be a legitimate gaming console. I know, I know, no, but not the way you think. See, it looks like only 37% of the Nintendo Switch buyers are under the age of 15 years. I know what you're thinking. This is a total shock. Uh, everyone's supposed to be kids who play Nintendo games and have Nintendo consoles. It's just the way it is now. But apparently, this is incorrect. But I'm not 100% buying it. You see, Nintendo released this information from their recent investor meeting where they're actually saying that about 43% of all Switch buyers are 25 to 34 years old, 20% of all buyers are 16 to 24, and 17% are 25 to 44 years old, while 88% of the Switch owners are males. Okay, 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 okay. First, I'm going to blow this whole entire theory of the 15-year-olds out of the water. Let me explain this. You see, it's this thing called money. And most 15 year olds don't have $300 lying around to buy a console, then another $60 for games, and then $15 for your random service, and then to buy additional controllers at $60 a pop for these tiny little microcontrollers. No, 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 no. You're not going to sell this to me. So, no, I'm going to go ahead and say myth busted. Of course, it's going to be the majority of them are going to be that age and buyers because the 15 year olds and 10 year olds don't have $300 lying around. Their grandma just didn't give them that much money. They just didn't do it. Now, moving off from that, I do want to tell you guys about uh, Destiny. It looks like uh, they gave out. Wait, I know, boo. We all know, boo. Look, I don't make the news. I just report it, okay? I just report it. It looks like Destiny 2 Curse of Osiris raises the power level cap and they actually gave a few more details about what's going to be in it. Well, it looks like if you want to get your hands on the Curse of Trials of Molly Cyrus, it looks like they're going to be increasing the uh, character level to 25 and the power cap level to 330. Yay! A little bit more grind. Aren't you so happy? Yeah, no, nobody's happy, but uh, it's going to have Vex and it's going to be on Mercury and it's also going to have a PlayStation 4 exclusive crucible map called Wormhaven. So that's it. I will not bet this is going to be a pretty small DLC. They could have just put this in the game. But if you want to play Destiny right now, you guys can play a, a Destiny 2's first raid challenge and it goes live today. And yes, you can grind and suffer and what you're going to get out of it is going to be this amazing emblem yeah that's right you play the challenge mode you're not gonna get gear or something special that no one else is gonna get you're, you're gonna get an emblem <laughs> and you ask why people have a problem with this game who wants to grind for an emblem it's just dumb it's just dumb I, it's just dumb I can't I can't even it's just so dumb this is why destiny has this many problems this is why people are leaving it in droves they have to stop the, the hemorrhaging with this foolishness. Now, moving on from that, and uh, if you guys are actually interested in uh, some Sony news, it does look like Sony is on pace to actually get pretty close to the PlayStation uh, 2 sales as one of the greatest consoles of all time. They're getting pretty close to 100 million. So uh, PlayStation has shipped about 67.5 million uh, PlayStation 4s by September 30th. That's just shipped. That's not necessarily in people's houses. So I want to see the real number on that. But it does look like they increased their uh, prediction uh, for March, which is their end of their fiscal year, to 79 million. That's pretty darn close. It's 21 million away from 100 million PlayStation 4s out there in the wild. So Sony is doing backflips. They're dancing. They're enjoying life. Uh, Xbox is looking kind of sad right now. But hey, they got the you know the Scorpio or the Xbox One X, which they completely boggled that name. But anyway, they totally have that. But it looks like in the recent uh, figures, they decided that, hey, uh, we're going to get more money uh, than we ever expected. So they've actually increased their numbers and, it's, and increased their output. So that's fantastic for Sony. I'm sure they're happy in doing backflips. They're making tons of money hand over fist. I still have a problem with their... Uh, how, how can you say... Their hardware, I think that they need to increase it. If they're going to compete with the Xbox One X, which I'm sure they're going to have a PlayStation 5 coming out pretty soon. But until that day, they're not having much of a reason to make the PlayStation 5 right now. With as much money as they're making right now, I don't see them doing it and rushing and drooling all over the place. Like, Unless the Xbox One X turns about to be like the world's biggest success story, 
I don't see them hurrying up to make this. I may expect it. Maybe they'll announce it in next year or maybe even 2019, the way that they're making money. So that's awesome for Sony, but bad for us if we want to get more powerful consoles. Well, that's all the news I got for you guys right now. Like, subscribe, follow me on Twitch, Twitter, and Facebook. You know, as soon as my news becomes available. Thank you guys for watching. God bless, and I'll holla at y'all later.